Level 80 prayer. I need 231 more dragon bones. So honestly, why don't we get them from Vindicta? That's one more dragon bone drop. And in one more dragon bone drop, we can actually get all the way to 82 prayer. I like. That is the objective. <laughs> my, my, my familiar is, uh... My familiar is full of bones. Whoops. My bad. And kill boss. Come on, dragon bones. That's dragon bones. Perfect. That's the dragon bones we needed, so I can now actually just go and get 82 prayer. Okay, that is the last time I ever have to worship at the uh, Actifuntus, which is actually kind of nice because grinding those bones takes so long. So even though I've got a gilded altar, you actually have to go to the Ecto and do 1200 bones here to get the full prayer outfit. So every 200 bones, you get a thousand Ecto tokens and then yeah, that's how you get that. So anyway, you talk to the shady ghost over here with an amulet goat speak and here we go. So now that we have the full outfit, it is time to go back to my player own house and I should have just enough dragon bones to get level 82, which is level 80 for leech strength. So it's kind of an important one. That is level 82 prayer done there, so I can finally use Leech Strength. Should be a massive DPS increase, especially with the Amulet of Zealots that we got in the last episode. I have no Divine Charges left. If I get a Yak, actually make Extreme Dibby Potions, and I can boost the level 95 spot. Without that, I can't. That's not a Yak. Ooh, get in! That's such a nice perk. The interesting part about Biting 2 is it's actually more common the lower your level is. So we may as well get as many as we can while we're low level because that saves us from having to stand outside of God Wars Dungeon 1 and wait until my stats lower one level at a time. Can we talk about something really quick? My sign of life is in my preset, but I'd say every second time I load it, the sign of life just doesn't equip. Same with my ammo slot. And... If it was like more items, yeah, it'd be pretty easy to tell, but it's literally just those slots that don't make it into the preset. And this has been in the game for a number of months. If I end up losing a life to that, man, I am not going to be happy. At the end of the last video, we finished while Guthic sleeps and we turned our attention to the vampire quest line. In this video, let's get it done. And let's roll this bad boy. A tier three magical dice. What do you got for me, bro? It's a Barrow's die. Wait, that's a mill? Does that mean I need enough buckets to do it in one shot? I literally just got 95 mining, trying to do a- I'm so bad. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. That is 50 minutes quest complete- oh man, that is not what you want. That's uh... We're not gonna talk about that. That was possibly one of the worst performances of my entire life. But, we did make it through the quest, so, you know, I'll take it. That was 42, which honestly, not bad. I will absolutely take it. And now the next quest to do is the quest that, uh, that gets us the dragon's medallion. Keep using holy water on him. Unequip your ring of life. Wait, why can't I wear a ring of life for this? Okay. I just like, I know it's not going to be hard. I would feel so dumb if I went in with an invented desert souls and like almost planked. Like, there should be no close calls in this quest. This should be, like, the easiest mid of all time. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, I actually really love this quest. So, I like, the, the first three, sorry, four quests we did today, I don't like. But I love this one. You take my Eligator, I take your life. Alrighty, it's time for the Branches of Darkmare quest. Oh, we gotta turn off the skybox, of course. Yeah, it's gotta be gloomy. We're doing a vampire quest. There we go. That's more like it. Dude, this is brutal. Angry? And laugh. And angry. I'm still getting points for this, by the way. And laugh. And angry. And laugh. How am I still getting points for this? Too easy, dude. It's not going to be that bad, right? Yeet. Oh! Did you guys see that? I didn't do it. I don't know. I, I, wasn't me. Wasn't me. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? There's a crazy man murdering all the prisoners. I I can't imagine. What? Who's doing that? I I don't know who's doing that, but you know whoever's doing it should probably put a stop to it. And also, where'd you get that hat? It looks really nice. I mean, um, who who's doing that? 
Not I said, Mr. Guy. Don't look at me. I've been in the, um, I've been in the, in the, I've been a tree this whole time. Sunshine for maximum deeps? I mean, um, I mean, that's what I would do if I was the person murdering all the people in the jail. But I'm not. So, you know, obviously, that's not what I would do. That's just kind of like an idea of, of what I would do if I... Here we go! Did I win? I hate this hit. This hit sucks. This whole this hit this hit just sucks. It sucks. That sucks. Branches of Dark Merit quest complete 210,000 XP. That's a big one, for sure. I'm level 72 Fletching. Relatively decent, and most importantly, we've got a massive Tome of XP. Should be 150,000 Herbler XP. Boom, and boom, just like that. So we're actually almost level 86. That's what we like to see. Also, I just want you guys to know, I'm almost guaranteeing we got an item this run. Actually, I am guaranteeing it. Because we haven't had one in like six Reapers, so... Yeah, there we go. Oh my god! I literally called it! I literally called it! Oh my god, we finally got that! I've been wanting this for so long! Ho -ho -ho! The guaranteed item! I think it, I've said it in multiple videos, like, oh, the only thing I really would love to get from Barrows is a Forsaken Amulet. Done! Ooh, Torag's Hammer. Okay. Wow, we we're on a 50% a drop rate. That is level 79 construction, which means we now have all the levels we need to complete the Lord of Vampirium quest. Which also means it's time to lose our hard crying man. But hopefully not. But really hopefully not. But it actually could happen because, oh man. Accept the quest. I think of every quest I have to do on the hardcore, this is the one I'm most worried about. There's a combat section where you're not allowed to bring any items in, and that includes things like a ring of life or a sign of life. Uh, you've also got a lot of combat in those sections, so I'm going to need to be very careful. About a week ago, I did all these quests on my main account, so I should be pretty practiced, but I did have a couple close calls in my main, and I do not want anything to be remotely close here. Parts of this quest are a safe death, but parts aren't, and there was some conflicting information on which parts were. As far as I know, as soon as I can get out of the mansion, I should be past the dangerous part, and if I were to die to the boss fight, it'd be safe, but I'm also not taking any chances. Walk to Vanescula, guys. This is our moment here. If we screw this up, it's over. It's absolutely over. Oh, man. Here we go. Unlock the five of the cells. Okay, so I actually have to do that. Wait, I'm getting hit by each one. Wait, am I actually? This sucks, dude. I'm on 4,000 life points on a hardcore with no... Oh, man. We don't like this. I'm going to do the puzzle and then I'm going to rest. Yeah, no, I know I'm going to rest. I'm 100% resting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's give it a rest, boys. <laughs> I don't know what HP we really want to get to. I also know there's, they're going to give me food in a minute, but I'd rather save it for later if I can. Couldn't you bring Guth for healing? Bruce? No, you can't bring anything in here other than these items that I have. It's just you cannot be too careful on a hardcore. Is he going to jump through the window right now? I hate this. Up. Okay, so next room is barricade the two windows. And then solve the puzzle. The two windows. These two? Okay. We're good. Let's go. Ooh, rest for HP would have been smart. Welp! Too late. Ah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. He's only got like, what, 200k HP? I think we can do it. And I've got a full amount of food. Let him kill you to find if it's safe death or not. Uh, no thanks. 
Okay, two down. Now, one of the attacks hits about half my HP, as far as I know. So it's this one. It's this one. It's literally that one. It's literally that one. Oh my god. Huh. Okay, we're fine. Still trying to run. No, I'm not, you dumb bird. I'm not trying to run. I'm not trying to run. Stop, 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 stop. I think I'm okay, right? I just need big damage. Big damage. What would Couchy do? He just killed the boss. That's right. Or is there another phase? I think I finished. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I'm pretty sure I'm done. I only have four food. Wait, there's another phase? Did I win? Finish him! Woo! Hardcore status has been preserved. To live another day. No, to live until we do River of Blood, which is the next quest we're doing. Lord of Vampirium done. I'll take it. That's level 86 Herbler. Sweet. So four more levels till we're done. Four more levels till we've got overloads. That's actually very cool, to be honest. So yeah, I'm one range level off. I am two fire making levels off and I'm two fletching levels off. We can get that today easily. Yeah, we're 76. That was insanely quick. Goodbye. Okay. Level 78 range. Great stuff. Ooh. Level 73 fletching. 74 fletching. One more level to go. That is level 75 fletching. You have all levels you need for River of Blood. Let's get it done. Sorry for the big debate. Also had to complete the all fired up quest. It's listed as a separate requirement, but you actually do need to do it. So anyway, it's done. For real this time, it's time to take on the River of Blood quest. The final quest in the vampire series. Not Drizzle! My boy! My sweet, sweet boy! The shockwave attack in this boss fight hits 7,500 damage, which is not exactly optimal, but it's extremely easy to dodge. You literally just need to take a step back, so we made short work of this one. As far as I know, the combat in this quest is significantly easier than the previous one we completed, so I'm not too worried. I think that was, like, relatively... yeah. That was a lot more relaxed than the fight in, uh, in Lord of Imperium, for sure. So I have to cut a log from the blister tree. Um, is this boss difficult or no? I'm assuming it's not like me that I'll be fine. We have, we have to blow up the stone of Jess in our dream. Boom, baby. See you later. There we go. See you later, alligator. Yo. That is River of Blood quest complete. Let's go. Yeah, that's the full quest series done. So now we are going to tome this and tome that. And tome that. And just like that, we are level 87 herb lore. This is insanely good everything. I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm gonna be very careful not to die though, because like I know virus can hit pretty hard. The plan moving forward is gonna be to train prayer in three different methods. Virus will be the first one, cleansing crystals in Prifdinus will be the second one, and I'll be using the money from virus for that. And the third method is gonna be Vindicta. I'm pretty sure at the current kill speeds I'm getting, I should be able to get close to 200,000 prayer XP per hour just in dragon bone drops. So all three together should see us getting close to 95 prayer pretty quickly. Speaking of Vindicta though, I've got this brand new Berserker's Blood Essence and I want to try it out. I'm very close to unlocking overloads and as soon as I unlock them, this thing becomes pretty much useless. But until then, it is a very, very powerful upgrade and I want to see what it can do. So you're telling me I can just activate this thing? And for 20 seconds, I'm gonna- Oh my god, my stats are 128! What?! Dude, this thing is sick! Wait... That's not- Look at that Zerk! Holy crap! I'm a DPS god! Are you kidding me?! Oh my god, that thing is so strong! Goodbye! 146, new personal record, and I'm not on Zerk Aurora. I need to bank. I need more prayer potions. Dude, this is going so well. I'm having so much fun. Hmm. And some core foods. Sure. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. All right, let's go grab a new reaper. All right, Grim Gem time. What do you got for me? Heartache and no, I'm not doing it. Am I? No, mm, no, I'm not. 
It's all right. I actually don't have a mage kiln cape, but I don't really want to get a mage kiln cape right now. Hellware, perfect. Look at this kill time. Go, go, dude. 146. And I'm not even on Zerk Aurora. We like this. We like this a lot. That is the end of the Reaper assignment. Ooh. Got 68 Reaper points for that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Jagex. That's actually pretty sick.